the most complex skills for nurses are prioritization and delegation. They must decide what needs to be done first and who is best suited to do it. Occasionally, nurses have time to make these decisions thoughtfully, but quick decisions are usually needed in today's fast-paced healthcare environment. Diamedical is proud to offer the new SIMVS Nurse Call Intercom System, which helps reinforce the importance of patient prioritization. This tablet-based system is easily installed on any headwall or patient care area. It allows educators to send alarm sounds to patient rooms and then observe how the students respond. Additionally, the system now includes push-to-talk communication directly from the tablet so students can request additional help or speak with their instructor. Today, two students are challenged to care for three patients who require attention simultaneously. We'll be using that new SIMVS nurse call system so that students can communicate with their instructor just like on a real nursing unit. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Oh good, you two are back from lunch. These call lights have been going crazy. If you wouldn't mind dropping these diapers off in room three, and then she's also asking for her stool softener. Okay, I'll grab the stool softener from the SimServe if you wanna drop the diapers off at room three. Wait, that's the patient monitor and bed alarm. That's more important than the diapers. That'll have to wait while we handle this first. I'll get the monitor if you want to get the patient bed alarm. Can I help you? Can I get some help moving the patient back in their bed? Sure, be right there. One, two, three. Now that these two are taken care of, we can get back to room three. You can bring another diaper. I'll grab the stool softener. Simulations allow students to practice using their clinical decision-making skills for prioritizing and delegating care with no risk to patients. They also help students learn to differentiate between bed alarms, patient monitor alerts, and call lights that are commonly heard in hospitals. Are you interested in running this type of scenario in your sim lab? Click the link in the description below to access a comprehensive diamedical simulation scenario with patient profiles, learning goals, debriefing questions, and a complete list of required supplies. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow along as we release new videos about medical equipment for simulation. Thanks for watching. This was Tuesday Teachings, helping to bring our products into your practice.